Hey guys, just gonna do a really super quick walk through the garden update for you today. And then later on, I've got some new videos in, in the works. Um, I wanted to apologize because I have not been uh, recording much the last couple of weeks, combination of things. Um, we, as you probably have heard on the news, have had some major wildfires burning in Colorado and it's been extremely hot up until just the last day or so. Um, and the smoke, even though we're not anywhere near where the fires are or were, um, they're still burning, um, but uh, the smoke has been extreme and a lot of the Western United States is in the same situation. The whole Western half of the US um, has been suffering greatly from wildfires. So I have not been going outside much. I'll go out in the morning first thing, do what I need to do in the garden um, and then kind of leave it uh, until later. So as a result of that, it's been kind of neglected out here. And um, one of the things I'm dealing with now is a uh, pretty severe case of powdery mildew on my squash plants. So I'm trying to mitigate that, but so far not real good success. So I may just have to pull the plants out. They're not really producing much anymore. Um, so I may just pull the plants out and then treat the soil so that we don't get it back next year. Um, I'm still kind of thinking about that, but I will give you an update on that when I can. And in the meantime, here's where we are with everything else. All right, this year I was able just to plant a few sunflowers um, and I wanted to kind of focus on this guy right here. I should say this lady right here. Um, as you can see, the head is drooping. That's from the weight of the seeds. Uh, they've been pollinated, they've done their business with the bees, and now she's getting ready to maybe soon be harvested. So I'm going to be bagging this, um, more than likely with some cheesecloth, and then in a few days we'll be harvesting and I'll show you guys how to pick the seeds out. All right, I wanted to show you guys, um, this is my dwarf double French marigold. Um, and I've got actually four or five of these planted around the yard along with some other marigolds that I got at a home center, but these were actually planted from seed. So this is one plant um, and it is just as happy as can be. Marigolds are planted, as I said, from or to protect some of the other plants. Like I've got my brandywine tomatoes here. Um, some of them have been ripening and it's just that time of year. It's a wonderful, wonderful. Um, I've also got basil here. Um, and then there's another marigold plant there behind them that's kind of buried in the tomatoes. Yes, some tomatoes. These are romas. This is starting to get ripe. And then I've got um, another cantaloupe here that is going to be looks like it's getting pretty close probably another week on that one and then this one and then there's a couple more on the plant um, that are going to take a little longer but they're looking good all right and then here's an update on our little cornfield i had 25 seeds that i planted um, mid-june it was around the 15th of june if i'm recalling correctly um, it's now September 1st and corn has tasseled. There are tons of ears on here. Um, I did split my planting and planted half, oops, where's my finger, there we go, um, half one week and then half a week later. And so to kind of spread the harvest out a little bit, because these are just for eating for fun. Um, but I wanted to show you, if you can see them in here, um, I've got about 18 stalks, I think, that came up, and several of them are just starting to form, and some of them are getting really close to harvest time. Um, some, some have multiple cobs of corn on them, which is really kind of exciting. This is actually the first time I've ever grown sweet corn. I've grown some uh, what you call dent corn for flour in the past in Arizona, um, but this is my first Colorado corn crop, so really, really excited by this one. And here we have some pole beans that were planted. Uh, it's probably been about three weeks ago. Um, they're really starting to climb. 
and um, I've got them in a couple places in the garden, different places, and flowers are forming on some of them that are up on the deck in a barrel, and these will be flowering very soon, and I'm looking forward to a fall harvest of green beans. So there you have it, friends. As of September 1st, 2020, um, the update on the garden, I'm looking really forward to the fall season. Uh, I've got a couple of other things that I've planted, but they just have not come up yet. Um, there's some, some uh, snow peas and some more flowers. I've got Shasta daisies, which are a perennial here, um, and some other things that I've planted that just have not sprouted yet, so I didn't really wanna show you a blank patch of dirt uh, but it's coming up um, and look forward to also producing some more videos on how to harvest what we're picking and maybe what we're doing with some of the produce that we're picking out of the garden I have cooked <laughs> and uh, processed is the word I wanted I think um, several batches of tomato sauce with the Romas and a couple of the um, not quite so pretty brandy wines that have come up or have been harvested um, as well as uh, a ton of zucchini we've been putting zucchini in everything um, I've also got quite a bit set aside um, processed and frozen and ready for the winter time to be used in soups uh, what else have we gardened or we Oh, tons of green beans and tons of cucumbers um, and as you saw in the picture we harvested our first melon just a few days ago and it is delicious I had some for breakfast this morning the last of it um, but it's that time of year and uh, really really excited about the fact that I'm able to grow food in my yard so talk to you later remember keep learning and growing a little every day